Hey guys, this quick trick is going to be on how you can take pretty much any sound, whether that's from a, you know, a sampler or another software instrument, and uh, layer processing on top of it to get a kind of an, a pad effect, a synthesized pad. Um, so let's go, here's our dry signal. Let's go up a couple octaves. It's pretty much as dry and as simple as a sound can get. Um, happens to be one of those Chinese Chinese flutes from the EXS24. And you can take certain processing and make a kind of a pad like this. Now I could see this being perfect for a uh, kind of a spatial track or maybe an ambient uh, kind of sound you're going for and using just logic plugins you can make the sound so let's get into it um, this example that I'm using I'll go ahead and go to the create um, I'll open up the EXS24 stereo go down to uh, world let's go Asian and I'll, I'll just open up the same flute. And for this instance, I'm going to raise the attack. A little bit more. Good enough. And uh, make sure it's on poly. And for the kicks and grins, I'll put it on unison. Next up, I'm going to open up the enveloper. Now, unlike the uh, the quick trick I put up last week, that's the uh, trashy drum sound. This one, I'm going to use just the attack. I'm going to uh, drop the attack on that one. So instead of uh, like last week's where the release is kind of kicked up, this week. Um, for this trick, it's going to be just the attack. I'm going to lower the attack and raise the time. Go over into our reverb processor. And I'm pretty much going to leave most of it as is. I'm going to lower the, the uh, dry signal and just raise the, the reverbed wet signal. Kick up the time. I Let's go ahead and go 15. That's a good number. Now we're already getting we're already getting close. Now you can change the length or the the uh, the amount as much as you want. Kind of make it for your specific application. And I'm going to compress it. Not too much. I'm just gonna kind of stabilize the the signal. Pretty much it. The, my favorite reverb personally is the Valhalla Shimmer, and with that I can get kind of a, a spatial, almost heavenly sound, that's what I think of it. So I raise the size just about halfway almost. Uh, the mix all the way up, and this is the first sound I showed you, but I'll show you again. That's pretty much it. I mean, you can layer different processing effects on it, like if you wanted to uh, put a phaser or you name it in here. 
Um, I would recommend going after the reverb. I use that mo mostly for sound design, um, but there are no rules. It's all yours. Have fun, and I'll see you next time.